Stage Fright, Three Films in Elementary School Gardens. You're watching the Joe Newscast. Having trouble with public speaking, or maybe you just need a refresher, check out the Toastmasters, UTA's newest club. We spoke to Barbara Pete and Zayad Saeed about the Toastmasters. The international club that's designed to help people become better public speakers and more importantly is that think of something creative to say on the spot which will greatly help during interviews when they just talk, ask you random questions and you have to come up with a smart and eloquent response within a certain time period. One reason we'd like to have it at ETA is because in all the uh, surveys, communication and leadership are the, are the most important things that employers are looking for. And there was some interest and, uh, and I thought it would be a great thing for us to be part of because uh, all the students need to learn how to present themselves better. Um, you, learn, you, you learn public speaking, which of course is one of the biggest fears that everyone has. And it's something that we all have to do. You can attend their first meeting next Monday in the UC Red River Room from 12 to 1 p.m. Need to get your movie fix? Well, stop by the gallery in the Fine Arts Building and check out Professor Yaki Smith's recent films. We spoke to Mr. Smith about them. Right now I have three films that are playing in the gallery. Okay. Uh, one is a documentary that I've been working on for the last two years called Father, which is about five African Americans who grew up without their fathers. Please. I have my latest short, Katrina Sun Screening, which is... Uh, Wow, which is the story of a young boy who loses his grandmother during Hurricane Katrina. And so he travels to San Antonio looking for his mother who abandoned him some years earlier. And this particular film uh, has sort of been screening everywhere. Uh, and we've won six film festivals in the last six weeks. And we are now eligible to be nominated for an Academy Award in 2012. Head on over now till the 20th to view all three films. Remember when our elementary classrooms were held inside? Well, that's a thing of the past. Several architecture graduate students, along with the nonprofit organization Real School Gardens, are helping to design gardens as classrooms to help incorporate sustainable practices like rain harvesting and recycled materials. We spoke to one of the graduate students, Jonathan Holden, about the project. Basically, it was a project where we had to take a um, given program from an organization called Real School Gardens and that is a federally funded nonprofit organization that does learning gardens for elementary schools. So the point of the class was to take digital fabrication or mainly making things in the computer and then to be fabricated and make them tangible things and help that leverage us as far as making it economical and um, just more integrated and more interesting. If you want more information about the project, head on over to the Real School Gardens website. All right, Mavericks, that's all we have for you today. This has been Oscar Boston. You can catch the Shorthorn Newscast every Tuesday and Thursday. Don't forget, comment, subscribe, and rate.